sustainable. It is not a kind of economy that is moral. And we have got to fight for justice and an economy that works for all of us. Today you have, and I'm sorry to have to say this, but you all know it, a campaign finance system that is corrupt and as a result of the Citizens United Supreme Court decision allows billionaires to buy elections. Don't get used to it. Don't think that this is what democracy is supposed to be about. It is not. So together we're going to overturn Citizens United and move to public funding of elections. And that means I would hope that anybody here, regardless of your political views, who wants to run for office, get involved in politics, can do so without having to beg wealthy people for campaign contributions. Thirdly, when we talk about some of the problems we face, we have a broken criminal justice system. And that means that in America we have more people in jail than any other country on earth, including China, four times our size. And that means we need major reforms in criminal justice. We need to make sure that kids who today in very large numbers are unemployed begin to get jobs and education rather than ending up in jail. Yeah. So that's an issue we're going to work on very hard. We need to address, now I know you don't feel it today, but the planet is getting warmer. <laughs> Just not this morning. But climate change is a planetary crisis and it's one that has to be addressed by basically we're transforming our energy system away from fossil fuel yeah. to energy yeah. efficiency yes. and sustainable yes. energy. Yeah. We need to rethink education in many, many ways, including the fact that when we talk about public education, it's not good enough just to talk about first grade through 12th grade. I think we've got to make public, we have to make public colleges and universities tuition free and we have to deal with student debt. Yes. I suspect some of you are going to be leaving school in debt, yes? yes. All right, well, we've got to deal with that. You should not be punished for trying to get the education that you need. And our yeah. proposal would substantially lower student debt, and we pay for that through a tax on Wall Street speculation. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we need to basically... Uh, Make sure that in this country, women have a right to control their own bodies. And that we don't allow people to take that away. But bottom line here is, and what this campaign is about, is asking people not to accept the status quo, not to accept the fact that the middle class in this country continues to decline, and for the young people here, unless we transform our economy, you will, for the first time in the modern history of America, have a lower standard of living than your parents. And we should not allow that to happen. So what this campaign is about is bringing millions of people together to take on a small number of billionaires who have outrageous levels of power over our economy and our political life. Uh, next Tuesday, as you know, there is going to be a very important primary uh, here in Wisconsin. Uh, we have won now the last six out of seven primaries yeah! by very large numbers. And I think the American people are beginning to catch on that our country can do a lot better than it is for working families, for lower income people, and for the middle class. So we very much hope that you come out and vote on Tuesday. Turns out we usually win when the turnout is high, we lose when the turnout is low. Some kind of prejudice in favor of a high turnout. So thank you all very much.